Incredible discovery at Oak Island during final excavation. Imagine a small mysterious island near Nova Scotia that has attracted wealth hunters for hundreds of years. Countless expeditions have gone there, drawn by the attraction of its mysterious past and captivating hints. However, an amazing find was uncovered during the last excavation, forever changing our knowledge of this secret region. Join us as we explore the depths of Oak Island, where ancient treasures and strange texts reveal a web of mystery and adventure that connects worlds and cultures. Pirates and privateers were common among the coast in the 18th century. Captain William Kidd was a daring figure. In 1701, the British found and killed the Scottish outlaw, but his name stuck around. The Ballad of Captain Kidd was written by an unknown person. It talks about 90 bars of gold and $6 manifold with riches uncontrolled. People said that his loot included Marie Antoinette's jewels, the Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Grail, and even proof that Shakespeare's plays were written by Francis Bacon. But what does Oak Island, which is 57 hectares, have to do with this? Early in Oak Island's past, not much happened. The Micmac people, who lived in the area of Newfoundland and Nova Scotia many thousands of years ago, may have been the first people to live there, and treasure stories didn't start to spread until the 1850s. On August the 8th, 1857, a piece written by J.P. Forks was printed in the Liverpool Transcript. He wrote that some very hard-working people a buried large amount of money. He wrote that some very hard-working people a buried large amounts of money in an attempt to find bigger amounts that are thought to have been buried by the famous Captain Kidd. They put their money in, but they've left gaps. In 1862, a story by J.B. McCulley said that the settlers were the first ones to tell stories about Captain Kidd. On his deathbed, a former member of Captain Kidd's crew supposedly told the newcomers that they had buried about two million pounds of wealth on Oak Island. Even though there isn't much proof that Kidd did anything in the area, the idea spread anyways. In 1864, the colonists said that the treasure site might have been found. In the late 1790s, a youth named Daniel McGinnis is said to have seen strange marks on an oak tree and an odd depression in the ground next to it. He asked his friends, John Smith and Anthony Vaughn, for help because he was interested. Since they knew about Captain Kidd, they started to dig. They found a shaft with wood platforms every three meters and marks on the walls that looked like they were made by tools. When they got to nine meters, they ran into the water, so they stopped. Some stories say they stopped because they were afraid of bad luck. People started calling the hole the money pit. Companies like the Oak Island Association, the Truro Company, the Halifax Company, the Old Gold Salvage Group, and the Triton Alliance spent millions of dollars on labor and equipment to answer the puzzle. Even famous people and leaders helped, like Franklin Roosevelt, Errol Flynn, and John Wayne. But most wealth hunters gave up in the end. Even though they found more holes and some interesting things, they didn't find a gold chest. After so much going on the island, the Canadian government finally passed the Oak Island Treasure Act in 2011. This law gives treasure hunters permission to dig. Rick and Marty Legina started a reality show called The Curse of Oak Island in 2014, which was all about finding the lost wealth. People have died trying to find the wealth. In the 1960s, Robert Restall and his son tried to seal flood tunnels, but they both lost awareness and died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Two other people who tried to get them also died. Because of this, people started saying that Oak Island was cursed. But what did they find? A different story says that in 1802, a group called the Oslo Company went to Oak Island. They found more wood platforms, coconut fibers, mud, pieces of metal, and a big granite stone that was 60 centimeters long, 38 centimeters wide, and weighed 79 kilograms. The strange marks on the stone were said to mean 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried. The translation was done by historian Edward Rowe Snow. He got it from Reverend A.T. Kempton, who said he got it from a friend who was a school teacher. Because it kept raining, the Oslo company had to stop working. There is no public record of what this company did on Oak Island, though, and all these accounts are heard from other people. What happened to the stone? The last time it was seen was in 1919 when Creighton's bookbindery had it. When the bookbindery closed, the stone disappeared into thin air. Several groups went to Oak Island and found interesting things there. 
One of these is a rhodolite diamond pin that is about 500 years old and may have been worn by Marie Antoinette or the Knights Templar. Another is a cross in the Middle Ages. It may be from between 1200 and 1600. Over the years, people have found silver and gold buttons, a silver Spanish ring, a Maravetis coin from 15 to 1600, a Knights Templar coin, scissors, swages, gold links, metal spikes, a 17th century axe, a whistle, a stone triangle, a heart-shaped stone, and five large boulders that form a cross with images of a human face and a sword. Bone pieces from both Europe and the Middle East were also found. Mystery fans can't explain how these things ended up on a small island off the coast of Canada, but they think it means there's more to be found. In the area around Smith's Cove, experts also found a complex flood tunnel and box drain system. Because these caves were often flooded, experts thought that they might be a way to stop people from digging deeper. The coconut strands at the spot were more than 700 years old, and the nearest coconut trees were thousands of kilometers away. But there were some false discoveries as well. In 2015, people heard about a discovery made near the coast of Madagascar. It was a 50 kilogram bar that might have been made of silver and had the letters S and T written on it. The bar was given to the president of Madagascar as the first piece of Captain Kidd's wealth, but it had not been looked at or checked. Later, experts found out that it was 95% lead and came from a building site on St. Marie Island. The metal was from Bolivia in the 1600s. Depending on who you ask, Captain Kidd, the Knights Templar, Marie Antoinette's Lady-in-Waiting, or Spanish or British forces during the American Revolution and Seven Years' War could have hidden treasure on Oak Island. Oak Island is a wonderful historical witness to the interchange of knowledge and ideas. Diverse civilizations interacted on this intriguing continent over the millennia, leaving permanent impressions on its soil. Researchers are methodically piecing together the shards of Oak Island's past, revealing a fascinating fabric of interrelated societies. From prehistoric sailors to medieval explorers, Oak Island functioned as a crossroads for maritime civilizations. The island evolved into a melting pot of ideas, where people from all civilizations exchanged their knowledge and experiences. Oak Island became a hub for the interchange of products, technology, and ideas through commerce, exploration, and encounters. The evidence discovered on Oak Island speaks of amazing engineering marvels and centuries-long concealed processes. Ingenious booby traps, hidden tunnels, and sophisticated riddles provide the confidence of those tasked with safeguarding the island's wealth. These technical wonders were the outcome of shared knowledge and the accumulated wisdom of previous civilizations. The historical significance of the island extends beyond its tangible richness. It is a live chronicle that documents the ebb and flow of human history. Oak Island saw information sharing, cultural mixing, and the growth of ideas. As we finish learning about Oak Island's amazing secrets, we're told that the best riches aren't always measured in gold and jewels, but in the knowledge we receive and the stories we learn along the way. And if you're also interested in stories about lost riches and old artifacts, don't miss the chance to learn more about the secrets of Oak Island. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update of our exploration videos.